Okay, here we have a problem that says find the real zeros of f. Use the real zeros to factor f. Okay, we could do this actually a very easy way, or we could go through and we could use everything we've learned, and I want us to do that so that we can put everything together that we've been working on. So looking at this uh, problem, this is a, a degree 3 polynomial. So because it's a degree 3, that tells us that there will be uh, the max number of zeros is 3. Okay, now we can look for our potentials, the ones that it could possibly be, the potential rationals. Remember, your potential rationals are all those combinations of P over Q. So let's see, there are P would be the factors of 20. So let's see, 20 would be what, 1 times 20, 2 times 10, uh, 4 times 5, and that's it, right? So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 10, and plus or minus 20. Now for our Q. Q is all of the factors of the leading coefficient. So that's just a 1. So our Q would be plus or minus 1. That means my potential rationals is going to be all of my P's over the Q. Well, that's just all of these over 1. So we could have a 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, or 20. All right, so let's start in. Now, how can we tell whether one of these is possibly a zero? Well, we can use uh, the factor in the remainder theorems because if, let's say one, we'll start off with that. If one is a zero, then I should be able to plug in one uh, into the function and I should get a y value of zero. So it would be one cubed plus eight times one squared plus 11 times 1 minus 20. So let's see, that would be 1 plus 8 plus 11 minus 20. See, this would be um, 9, and 11 would be 20, minus 20 is 0. Well, how about that? 1 is a 0 of the function. So we just found an x value of 1 is out one of our zeros. Okay, well now that we have that, we could either go through and we could try some more, or because we found one of them, now we can take this down to a quadratic by dividing that. If um, we have a x value of 1, we could even do synthetic division on this. Do you remember synthetic division? Synthetic division is where you take and use only your coefficients. So that would be 1, 8, 11, and negative 20. And we're going to divide by that um, 0 of 1. So remember, we drop our first term, and we multiply diagonally and add down. Multiply diagonally and add down. Multiply diagonally and add down. This is our remainder position. So this tells us that we have left, uh, since we started off with x cubed, then our new function will be 1x squared plus 9x plus 20. Now that's just a quadratic that we could hopefully be able to factor. We're going to finish this out in the next video.